It's Teacher Appreciation Week, and we're asking questions about the steps that can be taken to combat teacher shortages. It's a problem seen not only here locally, but across the country. Some state governments are now looking into how they can compete for and also retain educators. And joining me now to discuss what can be done is the president of the Ohio Education Association, Scott DeMauro. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Five on Two. Let's start with what the problem actually is, the struggle to bring these new teachers into the industry. What do you think has changed and what can be done to make the industry more appealing? Well, we're looking right now, Brooke, that uh, the fact that in Ohio, uh, we've lost about 50% of teacher candidates compared to 10 years ago, uh, when measured by the number of people choosing careers in education uh, as education majors in colleges and uh, universities across our state. Uh, and I think there's a number of factors. Certainly, uh, the pay gap is a significant one. Uh, when you ask young people what they want to do when they grow up, uh, most people, they want to have a fulfilling career. But of course, everybody wants to be able to pay the bills and put food on the table. And right now, if you come out of college and you go into education, you're making on average in Ohio 14% less than in any other profession with the same uh, educational experience. But we also have a challenge, not just attracting people into our profession, but also supporting the educators who are there. Uh, teaching is becoming pretty challenging and, and there's a variety of factors. We know that we have students with a diverse range of needs, uh, including some pretty significant mental health challenges. And we need the resources to be able to provide our students with a high quality education, no matter where they come from, their family background, their income, their race, uh, their place in our state. Yeah, Scott, more governors and state legislatures are looking into boosting teacher pay. When you're talking about salary, how are those recruitment efforts here in Ohio stacking up against other states? You know, we are making some significant progress. And in fact, the Ohio House of Representatives has in its version of the budget bill an increase in the minimum state teacher salary from $30,000 to $40,000. Uh, and that's a, an important step in the right direction. But even at $40,000, that would put us at less than the average starting salary across the nation. Uh, we need to make sure that, that all our schools have the resources to invest, not just in starting teachers, but also people with, with experience. And it's not just about pay. It's also making sure that educators have the respect and the support that they need. Uh, today, we are seeing across the country political attacks on our education profession. Uh, instead of offering support, instead we see certain politicians with uh, an ideological agenda uh, actually promoting wedges of distrust between parents and, and schools. Uh, we know that we have to work in partnership with everybody in the community to make sure that students have everything that they need. And so when young people see that educators are respected, I think they're going to be more likely to go into the profession. Yeah, I know we all have teachers in mind from when we were in school who had a huge impact, so no better time than Teacher Appreciation Week to be talking about this. Scott DeMauro, the president of the Ohio Education Association, thank you so much for taking the time for Five on Two today. Thank you, Brooke.